Yeah, I was doing fine. Started fresh out here in the West for two years. Barely ever on my mind. Till a friend called up telling me that you gon' move here. Oh, my darling, I've been stalling. I've been Ladies and gentlemen, what's happening? Ryan the Professional, back again, as always, man. What's going on? Let's talk, people. Let's talk. So, we are here, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. 2018. And we're already talking about brand spanking new consoles. The rumor mill continues to flow. People who don't have anything to grab onto want to latch on to an imaginary console that doesn't exist yet. And throw in ridiculous specs, right? The Xbox One goes from having 12 gigs or whatever gigs of RAM to now having 24 gigs of RAM. And instead of being six teraflops, it will be 18 teraflops, right? That's what we're gonna do. For PlayStation, we're gonna match the same thing, right? That's what we're gonna do. My thing is this. We have too many games that we still are waiting for. A lot of announcements that still have not uh, been made. Release dates that still have not been released, okay? And we're sitting here hyping up brand spanking new consoles. Now, okay, let's let's get this out here. I don't know what you guys want anymore. I really do not know what people want. I don't know what gamers want. I understand some people will say games. Others will say I want features and nothing else. And the others will say I want performance. I already know what I want. I want my console to run as advertised. I want my performance to be the main focus. And I want my games to look good. Now, Sony can deliver on this. Unfortunately, they don't have the motivation to focus on the performance you know, category. Instead, they're gonna focus on the visual category. When they focus on visuals, that usually nine times out of 10 tracks the um, the casuals and the casuals will look at it like, oh my God, that looks absolutely amazing. Look at the pores on her skin. I'm gonna get a PlayStation, you know? That's what Sony's gonna do. Microsoft, they're gonna do the same thing, but they're gonna do it sparsely. And I use that term very loosely, sparsely. Yes, why did I say sparsely? Well. We already know Microsoft's situation. They got all the money in the world, but when it comes to the Xbox division, their focus is not on games. Their focus is to go everywhere. Their focus is to become Ubisoft. They see that money that Ubisoft brings in from just being on every platform, and they want to be swimming in that type of money. That's their only effort to make money off the Xbox you know, brand. Now, they're making money off of Xbox, right? But they want to maximize their profits with Xbox. They're tired of investing in hardware. When you have a console that sells seven units in Japan, you know something's uh, wrong. I mean, people will say, well, Ryan, that's, you know, that's because they don't like, you know, uh, U.S. products or whatever. Okay, sure. But when EA is coming out and giving you release no or release date, or not release date, um, sales numbers, sorry, for them, and they're supposedly at 29 million, and Nintendo is projected to reach 30 million, at a certain time this year that right there paints the vivid picture of what i'm talking about that's crazy microsoft is about to be dead last as of right now they're about to be dead last dead last and you have grown men and you have children really mostly children hiding behind these little accounts saying oh it's media bias right media bias so, I ask you, what have you been playing on the Xbox One since or since it's been dropping, right? What, what are you playing on the Xbox One X? Are you going to say multiplats? Are you going to say the definitive multiplats? Are you going to say the reason why I bought this console is because I want the best multiplats, right? If you want the best multiplats, if that's the main thing that's driving you to become a console gamer, I suggest you look into PC gaming. I suggest you do. I really do. If you're really looking at games on the third party catalog and you're really looking at third party games as the be all end all and you're not looking at first party, you're not looking at the console for what it truly should be providing you and that's first party talent, 
then I don't see your I don't see a reason for you to be on consoles in general. There's a reason why PC, you know, gamers will buy a console in 2018, in 2019, or whatever. It's because they have those games that are not coming to PC that they would like to play, but they don't want to, you know, or they, they can't necessarily play it on their rigs, so they'll play it on the console. A lot of people are like that nowadays. Yeah, a lot of them also will say exclusives are anti-consumer, and that's true, right? Having a game exclusive to one platform is basically anti-consumer, but let's be real here. That's the mentality, and that's just the way things have been for quite some time. This isn't something that just happened. Every console has had exclusives every gen. Every gen has been like this. So for them to say anti-consumer, again, I get where they're coming from. They want to play them, but, well, you got to bite the bullet. got to get a console. And I already know what my combo is going to be from this point forward. It's going to be PC. And it's going to be PlayStation. Will I own a Nintendo Switch? Uh, most likely. Sure, most likely. Um, and it's not right now. I haven't gotten it. I'm still getting a few things. But I'll definitely cop one of the Switches. So I'll definitely cop that. But uh, yeah, as far as anything else is concerned, you know, I don't see a reason to invest in an Xbox. I just don't. I don't. Nintendo, definitely. I see a reason to invest in a Nintendo Switch. Um, still waiting for the, you know, release for their other uh, titles and wait for the reveals but when you just look at everything right when you piece all this shit together and you see how fast just reality has set in you gotta look back and just laugh at the karma right all the bullshit that these dudes have spewed from saying oh no 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 it's media bias right no we don't want those games those are for japs right that's jap trash right right Oh, you're ISIS if you have a PlayStation. Oh, you're a pedophile if you're on Nintendo. You're a pedophile if you like Crash Bandicoot, right? All this retarded stuff. And now they're crying because Spider-Man is not on their platform. Spider-Man. Of all games to cry about, you're crying about Spider-Man not being on your platform? But I thought Spider-Man was an interactive movie. I thought Days Gone was The Last of Us 2. Right? Isn't that what you idiots are following? Huh? You follow that type of stupidity on, on YouTube.com, right? My dude said, oh, the reason why people thought uh, The Last of Us was Days Gone because they're true. That's true. Days Gone is The Last of Us. The Last of Us is Days Gone. It's the same thing. You know, just trying, just trying to reach for anything to talk shit about. Anything. That is how bad this generation has become. That is how pathetic this generation has become. That's how bad it's become. Grown men can't talk gaming anymore. Nah, we gotta fucking uh, cry o on Twitter because people don't agree on something as silly as cardboard. Oh no, we have to sit here on, you know, here on YouTube, right? And cry because, oh, our console can't uh, get this game. But it's like, you knew that game was never coming to that console to begin with. You knew that wasn't happening. You knew. So what what you thought? You thought trolling was going to make them say, you know what? Let's bring that to this console. Let, let, let's bring that. You know, they're trolling PlayStation. They're doing a good job, right? They're attacking Phil Spencer, right? They're talking about uh, fucking Andrew House, calling him a bum and all that, saying the reason why he left is because of the Xbox One X, right? Let's 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 do all of this. Yeah, the, the, the Xbox One X is definitely going to get these games now. No. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. Everybody, including myself, I've done this furiously. I've, I've done this on so many occasions, you know? I've done it when I was angry at certain posts that I was reading. I've done it when I've just, you know, being up front with you. And other times, I just did it because I just care. If you want games for the Xbox One, if you want uh, games for the Xbox brand, you have to speak up with your wallet. You gotta show, you gotta show them the way, basically. They don't know the way. They don't know what sell because you are not supporting it. A lot of dudes crying because Quantum Break doesn't have a sequel, yet you didn't support Quantum Break. You didn't, you didn't support it. You didn't buy it. Cuphead most likely is getting a sequel, but, you know, I looked up some information on Cuphead. Found out that only 7% of people beat Cuphead. 7%. Yeah. Sad, ain't it? Sad.
Ain't it sad? Oh, man. Oh, my God. Nothing is going to erase everything that's happened this gen. Nothing. You know what will erase everything that's happened this gen? Microsoft's, like, true commitment to fixing everything that has happened. That's the only way you are going to get anything fixed this gen, ladies and gentlemen. As far as Sony's concerned, yes, yeah, Sony's number one, but don't get that messed up with any, like, don't get it mixed up. Don't get it mixed up. All it takes is one year. All it takes is one launch, one launch to lose it all. That's all it takes, people. We learned that from Microsoft, especially. It took them one year. Actually, it took them less than one year before the console even launched for them to screw up the Xbox One. Just for them telling you that your opinion does not matter and that you are going to buy this console because we basically told you so. We're Microsoft. You're going to buy this console because, and I quote, you know what I'm saying? We have another product for you. It's called the 360. You know, if you don't have internet connection and all this shit. Or my personal favorite, hashtag deal with it. Remember that? Yeah. All it took was one year. And all that success from the 360 went down the toilet. Now, do I think Sony would be that arrogant? No, no. I don't think they'll ever be that arrogant again. I don't think they'll ever release a console at $600. But sadly, and this is what really hurts, it's gotten to that point, ladies and gentlemen, where we kind of need consoles to be at $600 if we really want everything that you want. Like, if you really want the, those uh, experiences, if you really want that, uh, that performance, right, you kind of want a console at that price point because shit... I'm telling you, man, shit has just gotten too complicated for consoles. It's gotten too complicated. You see them sacrificing resolution over performance instead of, you know, having a console that can deliver both, right? Accessibility is one thing, but delivering is another. We want so much from these consoles. We demand so much for these consoles. Not only do we demand the first, fir uh, the best first party, we demand the first third party, right? We want these things, but we also want just the best value for our dollar. And that's what's really hurting these consoles as well. As far as the price point for the PS5 and the new Xbox, I mean, odds are Sony's gonna aim for the 400 price tag. I mean, that just makes sense. Uh, Microsoft, I don't know if they'll go for that 500 price tag again. They'll probably try their hardest to get the 400 as well. And that kinda, uh, that kinda scares me. But at the same time, I, I won't really care. The rig will be up and ready. So any games that I really want to test out in full, you know, glory will be on the rig. So I'm not really worried about that for the most part. But you get what I'm saying. Most of the stuff that's happened now, we kind of already knew. And um, as I sit here and I, and I, you know, be up front with you, it's just, you know, that's how it is. That's how it is. Things have gotten so bad in 2018. It's just, it's not even funny anymore. It's not. So, my advice for all of you is this, okay? When Sony talks about PS5, that's when you talk about PS5. When they talk about Xbox, that's when you talk about Xbox, the new Xbox. Until then, you know what I'm saying? Sleep in the bed that you personally made. Numerous people, numerous YouTubers who have either left YouTube or have just taken a hiatus from YouTube have told you months ago, speak with your wallet and not with your sock accounts. And unfortunately, you didn't want to listen. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you might not like it, but you're going to have to deal with it. Microsoft is in this predicament, not just because of Microsoft. Oh, no. You played a major factor in what everything that's happened with the Xbox One. And I really do hope that you are satisfied with everything that's happened, ladies and gentlemen. I really do. Ryan the Professional is out of here. I have spoken. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did. You know what to do with that like button. If you didn't, hit that dislike. It's all good. But, uh, yeah. I'm done here. Y'all have a good one. Deuces.